Hey guys, so another video here talking about Feral in The War Within. Going to discuss some of the more positive changes this time and doing an analysis on single target talents because, yeah, there's a lot of options. The builds are looking really cool. Uh, thanks for all the comments last time. Most commented video by far. Nice to hear a range of opinions. Going to address some of those concerns from those comments in this as well. But yeah, still don't have alpha, kind of annoying, but um, don't need it for this video because talking talents mostly. Um, so yeah, firstly, just a couple of things. This talent, I don't know if I said it last time, maybe I just was hating on it, but this is surely placeholder. And also this talent, I've looked at it more since, and this is really weak. And you can't actually buff this effect without it becoming super degenerate, like rewarding mistakes or intentionally overcapping combo points kind of gameplay. So I would expect more or less two new talents still to come. This will get replaced. This effect might stay, but I would expect something else to be baked into it, if so, just because, yeah, it is so weak. So we can't doom too hard about talents until we see how it progresses, because, yeah, like I said, it is the first alpha build. They took a lot away, but there's still things to come, things to add. Next up, Berserk Harlow Lion. And I've come to realize this talent is a lot more easily droppable now because there's scenarios where you're only going to get a given number of Berserks anyway. So the kill time of around 320, to four minutes, you're only ever gonna get two Berserks anyway, two or three minutes. So if you take Heart of Lion, it's not up till four minutes. Um, and this window is probably even bigger, more like 310, because even if you get half a Berserk and save a talent point, that's probably worth it. And likewise, up to maybe 410 or so, because is it worth spending a point just for half a Berserk? Um, so yeah, it's a pretty big window. With the old Heart of the Lion, we'd get around one minute 45 CDR, give or take. Um, based on uptime, RNG, things like that. So around every 3 minutes 30, you could berserk. So this window was a lot smaller with the old um, Harvard line. So you'd always run it anyway. Um, so yeah, this is going to require some knowledge of your kill time, a bit of homework. In some cases, that's super easy. Um, and then you freed up a point and you can spend it elsewhere. And it's almost like a new build, right? Having an extra point in the middle section is quite cool. It changes the dynamics of the tree. But... Um, and, you know, it is kind of annoying as well, because what if you think the boss is going to die at 320, so you don't spec it, um, your guild has a really good pull and you kill it at three minutes, and then you only have one berserk. So, yeah, it's got pros and cons. I still dislike the change overall. I prefer the old version a lot more, but I do think this is at least a positive because you will be able to drop it a little bit more, and it's less of a mandatory talent. But again... It's, I mean, I wouldn't say there's a niche kill time in raid, like a lot of fights do fall in this window, but probably not on prog, more like a farm thing. So next up, haste. One thing a few people asked me was, will haste go up in value? And I can almost certainly say yes, not only because of this new predator talent, but also slower feral means more damage in dots and less damage in filler, like bite, and dots benefit more from haste. Um, and this haste effect on predator, I was a bit negative towards last time, in reality, it's not that powerful. Giving a little bit more haste value to Shred and Brutal Slash is probably a good thing. Um, if this number was higher than 40%, then it might be a bit stupid. But anyway, Tireless Energy, it got nerfed, but not really. So with haste going up in value, if we're running more haste, this goes up in value because haste increases your base energy regen, and this increases that by 15% or 8% with one point. So more energy from haste, more energy Tireless Energy gives. Um, so naturally, the less energy you have also means energy talents go up in value as well, just naturally. Um, so effectively, tireless energy didn't even really get nerfed. More got tuned, if anything, um, and it may even be better now. Now, just to quickly illustrate this for those who are interested, this is an old spreadsheet from last expansion, but um, baseline 11 energy regen with tireless energy 12.7. Um, this is with zero haste. So if we add, say, 30% haste, um, you can see Tireless Energy, it's now uh, 2.1, and that's about 130 energy over a minute, which is about maybe like 4 APM or something, which doesn't sound like a lot, but um, it is pretty significant. Also, this talent here, Savage Fury, firstly, the numbers on it do look a little bit weak, but just use your imagination here. Pretend it's going to be stronger. Tuning hasn't happened, but anyway, right now it gives 20% energy regen for 6 seconds after using Tiger's Fury. And if you have higher energy regen through tireless energy and through more haste, that's another 20% on top of that. So a little bit of synergy there. We love that, even if it's minor. 
Um, also, the higher energy pool with Talos Energy means you can save up more energy and use Tiger's Fury without overcabbing, so you can spend more in this burst window. And that's particularly nice with Strategic Infusion, which is in the Wild Stalker Tree, um, which gives crit to various builders for six seconds after using Tiger's Fury. So six seconds, six seconds, nice synergy. Talk more about this once I get to builds. Also on the topic of haste, Omen of Clarity proc rate is increased by haste. Um, so even though Moment of Clarity is getting nerfed from 50% to 30%, at least that's what the blue post said. It hasn't gone live in alpha yet, but it definitely should because we're getting more haste anyway, or we're gonna be running more haste anyway, most likely. And this already procs a little bit too much. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But if you're worried about energy, just know this isn't a huge nerf factoring in haste. And same with Tireless Energy, it's probably not even a nerf at all. Um, obviously you'll feel it with say Apex builds and AOE um, without Predator, but I don't think it's gonna be quite as bad as a lot of people think, um, or the change isn't gonna be as significant as many people think. And I mean, like I said, I like the fact that they're slowing it down. I think it's a good thing, but again, I obviously don't have alpha. I haven't tried it. So just quickly before I get into talents, mastery has some positives. Um, firstly, Moonfire, it's gonna be more viable, obviously. I don't know if it necessarily needed it, but it's definitely going to be good for it. Um, and it might even be a mythic plus option because they've killed off you know, RF and die fixation. So there's three points now, um, but we'll see. Also swarm periodic damage is gonna be blasting now. And if you didn't already know, um, swarm is amplified by Tiger's Fury. So probably looking to cast Swarm inside of Tiger's Fury windows now, which is quite cool, I think, um, making the most of the damage. And obviously Unbridled Swarm, super fun in Mythic Plus Council fights, going to blast, I imagine. Um, I heard it might even increase the healing mastery. Um, I have to double check that when I get in and contest. Anyway, getting into single target talents, there's a lot of builds to cover. So let's go down through the tree. So these are obviously mandatory. And then with your remaining points, it is kind of cookie cutter just because right now this isn't very strong and I don't even know if it's going to be that good in single target anyway. We'll have to see. Um, if it is good, it's going to be good with Druid of the Claw because it buffs finishes, right? And Druid of the Claw is all about finishes. Ravage, uh, Ravage and also Bestial, Bestial Bestie Strength um, buffs Primal Wrath significantly, right? So very good talent. Well, if this was stronger, it would be a good talent with Drew the Claw, so maybe you drop Tars Energy or something. But keep in mind, um, you know, Drew the Claw, taking a lot of buy talents, energy talents is gonna be good for that anyway. And also swiped, Swipe and Shred, there's nodes in here buffing Swipe and Shred. So top whole top section is looking good for Drew the Claw, basically. Um, anyway, going down, these kind of feel mandatory. Taste of Blood is super, super strong. Um, obviously you need Infected Wounds to get that. The middle section seems very mandatory again, um, with the exception of Hard Line, as I talked about earlier. So at this point, you have two points left. Um, now, this node is probably not that good in single target again. So we might not, uh, sorry, we might do what we used to do, where we grab Lunar Inspiration and something else. In this case, probably Savage Fury and skip the right side. So go down the center, get Incarn. It won't be Convoke because you're running Moonfire. You don't want to run Moonfire with Convoke because Combo casts it, and if you didn't know, you can use the same keybind for both. Um, anyway, getting all this, and with the last point, it's either AG um, or CI. Right now, it's probably CI, but it depends what they do with this talent, if they buff it, if they rework it. Um, but in Avarice, uh, when we ran a similar build, um, you'd run this when you'd have a lot of uptime, and otherwise this, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, anyway, that's kind of the left middle build uh let's talk about left right so we'll just reset it um grab all these again now there's two kind of pathways with left right so you go moonfire and then skip to saber jaws here and then grab all this um and you know that's build a and that might be the wild soccer version because um wild soccer buffs moonfire there's a talent but the drew the claw version might be with brutal slash um, instead and on live these two this these two build variations seem very similarly so we'll have to see what happens with tuning next expansion but that could be a cool option you know kind of based on which tree um, different variations of the left right build 
Now, what about the situation I was talking about before where you want to drop hard line based on your kill timer? Um, so you have an extra point. So you can either go maybe LI or Savage Fury. Right now, it's probably LI, um, which you know I think is cool. I love playing LI and Brutal Slash together, especially with less energy, real spinny plates kind of thing. But that's what I was talking about, you know, being able to drop this it does open up another point because you know it's really hard to usually take these together just because you don't have enough points um but you know maybe there are scenarios where um like maybe you can drop omen like if you get enough energy from apex with circle um but i kind of doubt it especially if they don't end up nerfing it it's going to be very mandatory um but you know that's a cool little variation and obviously i'm only talking about pure single target here we talk cleave even one ad two ads aoe there's so many variations right so what about our convoke and incarn well i talked about the incarn left middle just before but um a lot of builds from current patch are still going to apply i imagine obviously it's all going to depend on tuning and stuff but talking all the options so you know saber jaws uh, apex with two minute convoke also with incarn would be really good as well this talent is better with incarn um but at the same time Taste of Blood is so good that it's going to benefit Convoke a lot. And, you know, Berserk sinks with Convoke. It's going to be really bite heavy Convoke. Like the damage profile, even the RNG, um, you know, it is one concern with Taste of Blood giving 30% um, bite amp in CDs, but that's a topic for another day. Um, but anyway, Incarn or Convoke here, we'll see. Maybe with one minute Convoke, you go double CI again. Um, but again, all these kind of builds have so much variation. Like, you can do um, two minute convoke like this. Uh, you can do one minute convoke with this. Um, uh, I can't remember how you do it. Yeah, things like that. You also do the dot focused um, build with like two minute convoke like that or incarn as well. Um, on live, these all sim like super, super close. Little variations, like if you want a little bit more AOE, you know, if you want to cleave some stuff, you go this kind of dot focus. Um, if it's like pure single target, Saber Jaws is really good. Um, if you want burst, CI is really good. Um, and then you, know, you can run one minute convoke as well, or circle, or um, even one point in saber jaws like that is good. Now I've talked about dropping Heart of the Lion, but if you drop this, does that make it good to drop this? Maybe, so let's do a no berserk build or rather one point in berserk build. So um, what benefits from berserk? So lots of finishes so like bite and stuff. So maybe, uh, I don't think you can skip taste for blood um we have we have two points free so actually you can get quite a lot here um and then yeah i guess you do left right because these benefit berserk you probably don't need those um and yeah left right like that i think it's probably how you do it but maybe you could do a convoke version as well um it just maybe you'd have to go one minute for it to sync up with berserk uh, so actually let's just do that um uh like this and this and this um so maybe uh actually because you have li you probably don't want convoke but you can drop li maybe you just do like one point in berserk or if they change this to something useful um so different options there okay lastly let's do hero talent specific builds we'll start from the top so drew the claw so a lot of bite damage a lot of finisher damage um you know Tireless Energy, good for that. Swipe Damage, good for that. Um, obviously, Taste of Blood is absolutely mandatory with that tree in any scenario, really. Um, yeah, probably Sudden Ambush, just because Rakes with Infected Wounds and Shreds um, with you know these talents. Um, but maybe Savage Fury as well um, could be an alternative, but it'd have to be tuned a lot stronger. So we'll go Brutal Slash because, yeah, these talents. Um, Saber Jaws, almost certainly right. Um, it's going to buff Ravage, uh, middle section, um, could be Incarn or, or could be Convoke. Like I said earlier, this doesn't benefit Convoke very much. It does benefit Incarn a lot, um, but you know, TFP is so good now, plus, uh, Apex is quite good, I guess with both of them, um, could go either way on this node. Um, and then last point, either, uh, one minute Convoke, Swarm, maybe even CI just because, uh, Swarm won't buff these finishes um and also on that note this bleed does absolutely no damage at all and the extension is super weak as well so currently with current tuning all of this tree's damage is in ravage 
this does not do much damage at all. Um, anyway, back over here. So yeah, I think you could probably also do a left right alternative um, with Truth the Claw. Um, but I do think this middle node is going to be quite good. Okay, so last up, Wild Stalker. And from the logs I've seen from Alpha, vines do a lot of damage. So what buffs vines? So go through the tree again. Um, again, top kind of locked anyway. See what they do with this. Um, haste is going to buff vines. So this first build will do it purely to buff vines. So haste will either buff the proc rate or um, buff the bleed of it, um, or maybe both. Uh, what else? So I guess technically versatility does. Um, oh, with this rake talent, 20% longer rake, that's going to give 20% longer snapshots. So take sudden ambush because we're taking sudden ambush, we'll take infected wounds. Um, maybe yeah, you probably take berserk talents. I guess they do buff fines, take tiger's few talents. They also buff fines. So one point left here. So we're doing the left middle build. Maybe, yeah, I mean, this is just a hypothetical pure vine damage build. I don't think you would drop Taste of Blood, but let's go with it. Um, and Incarn because Moonfire. Um, yeah, I think something like that. Oh, and Feral Frenzy, obviously. Um, Tiger's few talents to buff lines. But anyway, let's do a serious Wild Stalker now. Um, so these rake talents for the reasons I discussed. Middle section, because it's kind of OP. Um, maybe you go this way. Uh, actually, probably go LI with Taste for Blood um, and then yeah, Savage Fury with this talent plus Haste and then yeah, kind of do the same thing. Um, anyway, I'll just reset that. Basically know where I'm going with that. Um, lastly, what's the other variant? Okay, so mm, middle, uh, oh yeah, we go down here. Um, go Taste for Blood this time. So Apex, cause yeah, if we're taking Apex, we want Taste for Blood. Um, Apex now boosts single target dots with Sabertooth. Um, it's obviously, you know, en energy return as well. So we get circle because dots and also more Apex procs. Um, and this build we can take Convoke actually because um, we don't have ally. And also uh, we can take Implant because Convoke can Feral Frenzy. And, you know, we take Feral Frenzy as well for the Implant. And then probably Swarm. Um, I don't know if Swarm will buff the Vines. Um, it might be like, too OP in, in terms of talent choice. Uh, we'll see what they do, but I'm gonna assume that they will for now. Um, although I don't think they do on alpha yet. Um, but, you know, again, with all these builds, like say if we're getting a little bit of AOE, we could swap things around as simple as that. Even in the middle, um, maybe that's better AOE, things like that. So only talking single target today. Hopefully you got an idea of all the kind of creative builds you can play around with. Anyway, so brief final thoughts. Top section, super cookie cutter. Compared to live, we had dive fixation. You had to choose either one and one or zero and two, or you can skip infected wounds and then go for nine up top. There were builds, all those builds were played this past year. Um, I can kind of see why they put Taste of Blood here as well, because they probably want to limit the amount of strong nodes you can take. Obviously there's a lot of like pathing and mandatory nodes in the middle. So choice is a little bit restricted. Um, I really like this talent. I think it adds a lot to the tree. Obviously I do want RF back, but maybe in a different position just because I think this works well here. Um, bottom section, always tons of choice. Nothing's changed, nothing needed to change. Um, so yeah, I think it's looking pretty cool for single target. I have to see what they do with a few of these nodes as well. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Probably won't do any more videos until I get into testing, but uh, because yeah, I want to show gameplay and stuff. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support and I'll see you in the next one whenever that is.